what you see here at the picture uh, is a fracture of a 16 station line. It's a portion, a three stand, a three stand, uh, three forming stands of a 16 station forming line. Um, and you see an intermediate uh, pass or, uh, of a uh, uh, result uh, of a sheet metal which was formed on these 16 station lines. The material M strong 2 millimeters uh, and uh, DP800 material, so pretty high strong stuff uh, with high forces, a typical automotive uh, application. And the line, uh, which we call the second generation of flexible roll forming then, the first one was the European result, and the line is able uh, to simulate 16 stations. You just have to imagine we are not forming from coil, we just re-enter the strip a few times. We run through station 1, 2, 3, enter again, and then station 4, 5, 6, and so on, up we, until we end up the 16. Uh, and the flexibility of the computer control makes this very easy. And uh, this allows us uh, to run the whole uh, the whole 16 stations uh, through. You see a video animation. It should start now. Okay, now it starts. I hope the transmission ratio via internet is good enough to show you uh, how the whole line uh, works. And if you look at this portion, this is a blank holder uh, to hold the, the material down. Uh, and it certainly gives a few scratches on the surface, but the the warping, etc., uh, it has got uh, reduced almost to zero due to the fact that we use driven stands and we use the blank holder. So in the end, we got uh, a, a pretty good uh, um, result and material. Uh, the tolerances in terms of warping uh, were just still a bit too high than uh, uh, while well, automotive manufacturers would like it. Um, but this hasn't been the big uh, uh, dis, uh, uh, disappointment for us because we already knew about that. Uh, we wanted to verify with this line something else uh, because uh, these warpings uh, and, uh, and dents here in the, in the, in the profile web uh, result from the, from the elongation here, from the strains uh, in the um, flexible radius. And uh, the, the longer, the, the larger the flexible radius gets, uh, or the smaller the, the flexible radius gets, uh, the higher the strip edge strain, of course, result in the material.